the fire burns from the bottom out, and so as I'm doing this, the fuel in the bottom is actually going to disappear and dissipate, and so I'm going to have to constantly be bringing my fuel in and packing it down, getting fuel to the bottom of the fire. That's a nice heat right there. Mm -hmm. You can see the steam. You were, I, I don't want to have you use up something valuable, but do you want to put a piece of steel in there sure. so we can uh, record how the color changes? That's the other nice thing about coal is I can actually heat up my steel where if I want to have the heat, of course with the propane the whole thing pretty much gets hot. So if I had scroll work on the end of this, I didn't want to get hot. I can leave it out of the fire and it'll stay cool. So we've already started to get to a nice orange heat here. It's a, a dull purple on the end because I had it stuck too far into the fire. So if I wanted to manipulate it on the end, I'd have to pull it out of the fire a little and work it a little more. They wanted you to bring a team? Yeah, for the last two or three years they've been asking to have that. No, I'm, I'm not ready to deal with the, the cannons and the, all that other stuff. Yeah. Just myself. Yeah. Uh, I know there are horses that will deal with any of that, but... Oh, yeah. So that's nice working heat. Yeah. And then... And then... Now, what did you call your heat then? Did you say it was... A a working heat. Working heat. That's not a forging. No. Uh, welding heat. You can see the heat and the colors going from it, and the thinner it gets, the quicker it dissipates. And as soon as it starts turning black, I'm wasting my time pounding on it. The uh, forging heat would be a nice strawberry color versus mm -hmm. the orange color. And I'd have to work at it. It'd be almost to the point of burning the metal up. Yeah. You want it to spark yeah, yeah. a little. Because it's already got a heat, it'll heat up quicker than when we first put it in there. And what we're going to end up doing is probably making something like that, and we're tapering this down. First thing we do is make this square. It was round. And by making it square, I can control the amount of taper I get. Also used to water to make the uh, fire smaller, so I'm not burning as much coal. And if I was really trying to get something done, I'd probably have two pieces of metal in, one getting hot, one that I was pounding on. And then invariably I'll stop talking and burn something up. Pretty soon you see sparks flying out of here. you can see that but I still have a good working heat up in here where it's orange and yet the heat's dissipated on the thin part. Yeah. It just won't hold the heat.
helps to have the right size tongs. You can see I've kind of got bends going on. I'm not worried about that until I start finishing it up. And now that I've got my taper, I can either make it round again and then bend it, or else I can twist it and make a uh, thread out of it. those corners off and putting the round back in. When I was doing this at your auction, I had a uh, kid who was, I think was 12 years old the first year. I was doing demonstrations, I think three or four demonstrations a day. And he walked up and he said, I can do that, looking at me running the blower. And he came back for four years, for three years, and did it every day. And actually we learned how to smith. Huh? Cool. Cool. That reminds me of Richard Sweeney, you know who that is? I've heard the name. He showed up as a teenager at Doofer. And uh, big eyes just couldn't couldn't get enough of looking at the steam tractor. Went back every year and every year they gave him something else to do and now he's the engineer. So now when I put it in the fire, I've got to be careful that that little tip doesn't burn off. So sometimes I'll actually stick it clear outside of the fire so it doesn't get too hot. And now I've got to decide if I'm going to turn that into that. Um, actually, it'd be that way. If I'm going to manipulate this into a uh, hook, I really need to work on the other end while this is straight. Otherwise, I can't hang on to it. And so after I cool this thing off a little. I start working that end and do this detail to it. If I put the hook into it, it wouldn't fit into my tongs. Right. So, so it's not really sequential. You've got to kind of skip a couple of steps and then come back. Want me to keep going? Sure, if you're, if you're sure. game. Sure. Because uh, we could cut this into sections right there. Yeah. 